Hi, I'm Dr. Renee Horton, the SLS Lead Metallics and Weld Engineer at NASA Mishu Assembly Facility. I am SLS Boots on the Ground. Not all of us get a chance to do what we love to do every day, so I feel extremely lucky to work at NASA because it is my dream job. I spent many nights gazing at the stars as a child wondering if there was anything beyond our universe. We often traveled to Biloxi to visit my uncle in the Air Force, and we would stop at the rest area outside of Stennis Space Center, and I would get a chance to play in the NASA area and pretend I was going into space. Right now, I decided one day I wanted to be an astronaut to see the beyond. I joined the Air Force ROTC, and during my physical, I learned that I had a hearing loss and later was diagnosed with a hearing impairment. And I couldn't be an astronaut, but I would still be able to send astronauts into space. I hold an electrical engineering degree from LSU. I am the first in my family to receive a PhD and the first African American to receive my PhD in material science and physics from the University of Alabama. Go Tigers! My degree was funded all on NASA scholarships. I started working for NASA after I graduated and I started in the materials test lab, then systems engineering, and now I am the SLS lead metallic and weld specialist at NASA Mishu assembly facility. My current priority is the Vertical Assembly Center, which is the largest weld tool in the world. Each day I walk the factory floor with a lot of pride in working for such a talented workforce that is made up of people from all walks of life, cultures, and races. We are all contributing to the next big thing happening at NASA Mishu. We are all a part of history each day. My name is Cynthia Sprawl. I'm part of a small team that integrates and operates the Mishu Assembly Facility for the production of the Space Launch System. Daily activities include oversight of our facility's contractor and management of the so, needs and um, services of various we tenants over, we have here on site. Our contribution <laughs> to the space program is providing a viable production-ready facility while keeping down the costs. So in addition to daily activities, you will find me focused on special assignments that have to do with reducing the cost to operate the site for the Space Launch System. After exhausting conventional methods like energy reduction, maintenance planning and scheduling, and renting excess space to commercial tenants, we look for more. Since we have excess green space or swampland all around us, we are currently pursuing partnerships with commercial developers where they would build their own building on our land and NASA would realize rental revenue. That offsets the cost to operate for SLS. We have the land, they bring the building, everybody wins. We also look for unique contractual partners. Currently we're preparing for a new NASA contract for our operations and maintenance. The new contract will serve both the Michoud Assembly Facility and the Stennis Space Center nearby, thereby realizing synergies in functions of the contract that are not site specific. Bottom line, we believe that this too will reduce the cost to operate for SLS. I believe diversity in the workplace is key to generating and implementing such innovations that allow us to achieve greater results than we could otherwise. I look for opportunities to develop others and truly enjoy watching them realize greater goals than they thought possible. My advice to others is to look for opportunities in your organization where you can solve a problem for management and ask. Be persistent in asking for that assignment. Diversity in the workplace, to me, means listening and being heard. It's so important that people feel heard. You don't have to adopt their idea. You only owe them an explanation and discussion as to why not, because that's where the learning occurs for both of you. Hi, I'm Rhonda Smitherman Hickman, Chief Information Office Lead at the Mishit Assembly Facility. When asked to do this video for Women History Month, I was extremely excited. I started working at MATH 27 years ago and could not ask for a better job or a better group of folks to work with. I received a Mathematic and Computer Science degree from Southeastern Louisiana University back in the 80s. My parents bought me an IBM PC, amber screen with a 300 baud modem. I thought I was big Tom the only one in my dorm with a computer that could log into the mainframe after lab hours. I can remember my first programming class and how excited I was to be one of two women in a predominantly male environment. 
and then walking into a Calculus 4 class and being told that the algebra class was down the hall, like a girl couldn't handle Calc 4. All of these expectations challenged me and prepared me for the workplace. I worked for NASA when we introduced the first 3Com file servers, used 5 and a quarter inch floppies as external media, programmed the first LAN application using DBase, thought that a 10 meg Bernoulli the size of a textbook was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Technology has and is changing at the speed of light. NASA has always been very supportive of women in the workplace. I have personally experienced this. I have two young men, Ryan and Rhett, that literally grew up during my years at math working for NASA. I had challenges that forced me to balance a career and being a mom in an office environment with mostly men. Before Hurricane Katrina, NASA provided an on-site daycare facility. It allowed me the opportunity to spend more time with my children. I could eat lunch with them once or twice a week. When they started school, they would joke with their classmates and teacher and tell them that their mom was an astronaut. I had to prove myself and my work while worrying when a child was sick, dealing with homework and projects after an exhausting day, planning dinner, and so on and so on, things that others in my department did not have to focus on. As a woman, this made me stronger and more determined than ever. As women, we do have many challenges and obstacles. God made us very strong. We need to prove that we have what it takes to multitask and compete in a diverse environment.